What's up, guys? So today I figured I'd do something a little bit different and do a studio tour and just kind of show you guys around the studio, show you the equipment I'm using and stuff like that. So first off, my name's Matt. I've been writing music since I was probably around like seven years old. I've been playing guitar since I was about five. In the last couple years, I've just been starting to record my own music with Pro Tools and recording these covers and just kind of putting them out there for you guys to enjoy. So if you're liking them, just give that like button a little tap. And if you've been watching the videos and you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, yeah, without further ado, here we go. So this is pretty much it for the most part. Uh, so yeah, that's the setup. Thanks for watching, guys. No, I'm just kidding. So here's my interface. It's the Scarlet Solo. It literally just has one mic pre and just like an instrument input for guitar and bass and stuff like that. And that's that's how I record everything. I literally just do, you know, direct in with guitar and bass. And I do, I just plug the mic into the mic pre and that's it. I don't have any other equipment as far as recording goes. Um, I literally just use the interface. This is actually how I record my drums. This is the Carbon 49. Um, this is actually my friend Andy's keyboard. He just, like, I guess doesn't really use it that much, so... He's been letting me use it, um, so it's pretty much mine now at this point. Uh, maybe one day he'll want it back, but for now I'm using it. Rubik's Cube. You know, in case you want to get your Rubik's going. Um... I can actually solve that too, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. This is the Zoom L12. I don't actually use this, really. Um, I got it for hopefully in the future doing some live stuff. I've used it to jam a few times with friends. It's cool. It's got these uh, outputs for headphones to make like, like uh, you know, custom mixes for headphones for um headphone mixes and stuff like that uh my speakers are the atom audio i forget what the model is but they were like 400 dollars for the pair they're like 200 dollars each this is my pc my brother actually built this for me um a couple years ago for christmas but uh i'm running windows 10 i'm not super like knowledgeable when it comes to computers I really don't even remember how much RAM I have in here, but it's plenty for what I've been doing. And it was a 500 gigabyte hard drive, I believe. I've already used up pretty much the whole hard drive with these videos and stuff. I just got an external hard drive. But other than that, it does plenty well. I use Pro Tools. Um, so, yeah, it it's good enough for me. So, I mean, you know, that that's that's pretty much my, my rig. Um, I have these two sets of headphones. One is Samson, I believe, and the other is KRK. That one's KRK and this one's Samson. Use those when I do vocals and stuff. Um, and I originally mixed on those for probably almost a year before I got these speakers. Um, so yeah, that was what I, what I used. Got a couple amps over here. This one is the Orange Crush. 20RT, I believe is what it is. It's just a little practice amp. Uh, and then back here, this is a Roland Microcube. I've had this little tiny amp. Um, it like, you can run it off batteries or, uh, or the plug. Um, I've had it since I was a little kid. And then underneath that is a Spark amp um, that my dad gave me because he wasn't using it anymore. So um, that's really all I have for amps and stuff right now. Yeah, so this is a little crystal collection, little shrine thing here just to keep the vibe. So around the room, these panels that I have, I made these. They're, they weren't that hard to make. They're just like soundproofing insulation with like cloth stuff on them. I don't even know. It's like 
it was super easy if you youtube it there's like lots of videos on how to make them but they were really cheap they when you go online to buy panels like this they're like 60 to 100 bucks a piece from what i've seen or more um and these like probably were like 10 bucks or less a piece to make so it really was you know it was worth it it definitely makes the room sound better it just keeps the reverberations down you know I, I i feel that they help a little bit as far as bass traps and stuff these ones um i mean they work you know i think it sounds fairly good in here that's that um this is the bass that i record with it's literally just an ibanez um you know uh It's just like a $200 bass that I got. I don't know the model, but it's it was just a cheap bass. It sounds really good for the price though, to me, I think. In the recordings, I think it sounds perfectly fine, especially once it's mixed a little bit. So, um, you know, that's what that is. Back up a little bit. This is, the studio is really pretty small. Um, this is pretty much like it. So yeah, I actually just got this chair for Christmas. It's sick. I mean, like I've never had a chair this nice. So got this desk over here. It's just kind of like space to move keyboards around and set stuff up when I need to. Um, actually just got a couple filming lights for Christmas too. So hopefully the quality of the videos will get better. This is one of them. They're newer, um, NL660 is the model um and then this i just got this from my fiance i should say for uh christmas um and it's signed by travis barker so that that's like a sick gift um it's like a no-name guitar but she found this and it's like a certified signature and everything i have this little thing right here certified like all that so uh, yeah, so turning around from there We come over here and we have a little electronic drum set. This is actually also my friend Andy's um, He just kind of leaves all his stuff here and it becomes mine, which is cool, you know Yeah, I don't use them that much. I'm not great at drums like I'll mess around with them once in a while I can play like simple beats and stuff, but I'm not crazy good I'm, I, I understand how to play them enough to put you know to make up the MIDI drums and stuff and and make them sound realistic but I'm not good enough to actually play them so yeah and then over here this is just a normal live it's a SM58 microphone um, I use it when we jam and obviously I use it in the videos just to film the videos and stuff um, and then this is actually what I used to record with. This is the Audio Technica AT2020. It's just here on this, uh, you know, stand with a pop filter. With like a $25 pop filter or something like that. $100 microphone. Um, super simple, nothing fancy or anything. And then this is another microphone. I think this might be an SM. This is an SM48. It's just a little bit cheaper than the 58, and it's almost as good. And then let me get my... Let me show you guys my guitar that I do all my recording with, pretty much, and that I use in all the videos. I love this guitar. It's a Fender... Um, player series strat and I can't fix my strap so yeah um this guitar you guys have seen it in all the videos so I mean you guys kind of know what it sounds like already what's really cool about it to me was unlike most of the like traditional strats um this one has a double humbucker um, down on the uh, bridge here and um, I just think it's super cool you can I, I play it down there more of the time probably 90% of the time but um, you can get the little bit twangier you know strat sound on the other two pickups um, 
and I just like it. I just I just love the sound of it. I love how it looks. It's like the blue burst color, I think, and then it's got this kind of tan off-white, those off-white pickups and knobs and stuff. So that's the strap. And that's really pretty much it. I really don't have a ton of equipment. As you can see, oh, I did forget to show this guitar though. Um, you guys have probably seen this if you've seen if you've seen the Paper Cuts cover and like the Love Race cover and some of the earlier covers. I uh, use this guitar. Um, I literally have had this guitar since I can remember. Uh, this was actually my dad's. My mom got this for my dad when they were like young. Um, and it was given to me. It's like really dirty and dusty and probably gross looking, but uh, I play it all the time. And uh, it sounds really good. It's an Ibanez. I have no idea what the model is or anything like that. Um, Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll try to back up and give you guys like a full view of the whole thing. It really is like not big. This is pretty much it. It's kind of like a little cave, but uh, it does the job pretty much it. Um, if there's any covers that you guys want to see, any particular songs or whatever tell me down in the comments i'm working on some stuff i'm gonna try to be uploading two covers a month i'm gonna try my hardest i work 40 hours a week so i try to do as much as i can in my spare time and try to get these covers out i'm trying to get it up to at least two a month but we're just working our way up so i appreciate all you guys that are actually supporting and actually watch all the videos and um you know comment on them and stuff like that if you like this video make sure to hit the like button it's like super easy i think it's like over here so do that i'm gonna link my spotify and my apple music below like i do in every video so please go and listen if you guys enjoy the covers go listen to my spotify listen to my new album that i just came out with it's called write my own story um my cover of Stay was also just released onto every platform. So go listen to that. And yeah, Happy New Year and peace and love. See you guys in the next one.